racing capital of the world, Indianapolis, Indiana, and what happens to be my hometown. And we are actually at the Dallara IndyCar Factory. And if you don't know who Dallara is, that's why I'm here to help you. We are not even like three blocks from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and I cannot wait to show you what they do here. Dallara represents innovation, creativity, engineering, design. It comes together here. Let's get inside and see how they are using their experience with working with so many racing teams to create their own supercar, the EXP. Follow me. The car was gifted to Giampaolo Dallara for his 80th birthday, the Stradale. It is a, a European street car that is, in, in summary, the core competencies of the company. You know, aerodynamics, vehicle dynamics, design and, and manufacturing of lightweight materials of carbon fiber. Mm. It is a, a masterpiece of what Giampaolo has learned from his 50 plus years of engineering. Juan Pablo Delora, after studying aeronautical engineering, went to work in Motor Valley for some of the biggest and most famous Italian car companies like Ferrari, Maserati, and Lamborghini. Then, taking everything he knew about car design, he founded his own company. They not only build the chassis for every single IndyCar team, but also have created their own supercar that is the pinnacle of design, creativity, and engineering, the EXP. Here we are inside the uh, Fabrica Dallara. It's where the cars are born. We are just underneath Giampaolo Dallara's house. And really? um, he can actually check my <laughs> office from his house. Oh, no. Just to put me in a good mood in the yeah, morning. Yeah. But here is where we assemble the cars. Both the Dallara Stradale and the Dallara XP. One of which is just behind you. Every single part is thought in order to improve the efficiency of the cooling, improve the weight of the car, improve the downforce production. Yeah. And there are very small details that make a lot of difference. It's the best of Dallara's history yes. and innovation and, and pushing what, can, what you can actually Maintaining uh, the, the, the dream of Giampaolo because at the end, Engineer Dallara, he wanted a very simple car, a driver's car, yeah. something which is today's technology, but based on the feelings of, of some yeah. time ago. So Grant, I love your job. <laughs> it's really cool. To come every day and to work on an automobile like this versus, you know, not to say that working on a Honda is not fun, but this is clearly a lot cooler. I don't even know where the engine is located on this thing, but even looking at it, tell me more about the like, design. It's a mid-engine car, so there's there's nothing up front as far as engine goes, okay. it's just a radiator. It's like the definition of STEM. I mean, we got science engineering involved in here, you know, mechanical design along with aerodynamics. And so, yeah, that makes sense. So when you're prepping this thing uh, to go to the track, how does that work? One of the things I'm concerned with on a track day is some of the aerodynamics and some of that is on the bottom of the car, actually. You look underneath this car and it's just flat. Like, yeah. it's is that all carbon fiber underneath as well? Yeah, it's all carbon fiber, it's a flat bottom, but then it's got strakes um, to kind of channel the airflow. How do you design a supercar? Most companies begin with the design and then figure out how to make the engineering work. Dallara decided to do something completely different by bringing both designers and engineers together in the same room. The goal, build a supercar that balances perfect design with expert engineering form and function working together. Literally the perfect example of stem and steam. The weight could not go over 890 kilograms or roughly 1,900 pounds. To give you an idea, a Lamborghini weighs over 1,500 kilograms or 3,500 pounds. The goal was to design a lightweight, powerful supercar that had the same downforce pressure as the weight of the car. That's 890 kilograms of downforce. To put it simply, this car, if given the chance, could literally drive upside down due to a perfect mix of weight, design, and power. It's crazy, right? What did Dallara do to make this happen? No doors. This maximizes airflow, creating less drag and weight. 
Two air ducts on the front not only cool the radiator, but allow cool air to flow to the engine through the doors. A carbon fiber mono cockpit built as one solid piece. This provides incredible safety, being able to withstand 13 tons of pressure. A high performance, lightweight engine modified to fit perfectly while producing <laughs> insane horsepower. Holy crap. However, the most powerful tool Delara used was aerodynamics. Nothing on this car is just to look pretty. Everything has a purpose. Aero flicks on the front bumpers come up over the wheels, creating more downforce. Also, opening the wheel arch creates even more downforce and takes away any lift a normal car would produce. Air comes in through the front, pushes down on the wheel through the arch. The most amount of downforce comes through the interaction between the ground and the bottom of the car. So lowering the EXP to 15 millimeters above the ground with nearly nothing exposed creates tremendous downforce. Lastly, a very large, powerful, and effective double rear wing is on the back. Final result, a supercar that has 1,300 kilograms or 2,866 pounds of downforce, creating three Gs of lateral acceleration. I think I was surprised by how much is on the steering wheel. Like what in the world are all these buttons for? You have an engine map, um, you know, qualify or race. Qualifying gives you a little bit more of a horsepower boost, but it cuts down on the engine runtime over okay. the life of the engine. Then you have rain lights, uh, you have turn signals. And then in the cockpit, you have the adjustable uh, pedal box down here. So like if you see like on the kind of the prototype sports cars, LMDH cars, right. like a lot of them will have this because they have different drivers getting in. Oh, wow. So the whole thing moves. Yeah. Man, that's cool. That's wow. pretty cool. You can just pull a lever while you're driving and get in. Get it just right, yeah. Why can't they get this right like in a normal car? Like I want the buttons in my car to look like this. It looks awesome with all this carbon fiber down the middle of it. Okay. Oh my God, you're right. I'd almost want it further back, but that's cool. You can like adjust everything. So you're, oh shoot, sorry. <laughs> I like to touch the paddles inside. So to see this literally though, I'm gonna have to go to like probably a track. It's a specialty car. You can see it, but you're gonna have to show up at a track where it's allowed to be, to be like street legal, we'll call it, yeah. Yeah, if you ride with a professional driver, it's it's violent. It's violent. <laughs> Easiest way I can describe it. It's violent. Yeah, I would imagine, yeah. Now that I know how this incredible car comes together, I couldn't wait to see what it could do in action. So Bryce, I was really excited to get out here uh, once, perfect day here at the Putnam track, but really I want to know more about the car. What we're looking at here is the Delari EXP. Wonderful beast of a machine. Who is looking at a car like this? Yeah, it's your, it's your more exotic car enthusiasts, the collectors, and it's even a, a step further that they're, they're the track day enthusiasts, or the, the car enthusiasts, the ones that are passionate about going and, and pushing the limits on the track, and that's exactly what this car allows you to do. Tell me about the experience of driving it, what it's been like compared to other vehicles you've been, you've been in. Sure, yeah, it's it's similar to some other vehicles I've been in and also very different. So um, braking is amazing. Braking and cornering is definitely this car's forte. Really low to the ground, tremendous downforce, right. slick tires that are really big. Really the thing that's a real kicker about this car is the fact that it has a lot of electronic aids. Okay. So if you want it to be safe, you know, and you're sort of less confident in your abilities, you really can make it very safe and very easy to drive. So this car is very, very customizable to the individual owner, which I think is really important it's still pretty easy to master, right? Right, right. Um, which is what we want, because we want people extracting the very most from this car. Supposedly this car is capable of 180, but really straight line speed is, is not this car's thing, right? It's, it's how fast yeah. it is through the corners. Right, right, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
thing I've done in a while. <laughs> I'm impressed. Dude. If I was your age doing this, I'd be like, God, all right, that's pretty awesome, man. Dude, this car is crazy. It's like you don't even feel it. Like it just, choo, just lays into the corner. I'll take one. This color's fine. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.